In this lecture, we are going to see how test process varies with respect to its context. First topic of test process is explain the impact of context on the test process. It is marked as K2, which means you need to understand this topic. Before we start the topic, just remember, ISO standard for test process is ISO IEC IEEE 29119-2. First context is based on software development lifecycle model and project methodologies being used. To understand this point, let's have a look into these two software development lifecycle models, V model and Agile model. V model is an incremental process where all the phases are done sequentially in an incremental way. But in a Guile model, each phases are repeated throughout the development phase. We can see in picture to understand these two processes. In the V model, the complete project is implemented incrementally, and once the development phase is done, corresponding testing activity is started. Whereas in a Guile method, Few features are implemented in a week, and testing is done for that feature. And this repeats throughout the project development. Therefore, same test process is implemented in a different way based on the model used. Just remember, first context is software development lifecycle model and project methodologies being used. The second context is test level and test type being considered. Based on test level and test type, test process is selected. When we say test level, these are the four different levels mentioned in this course. Component testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. And different test types are functional test types, non-functional test types, white box testing, and change-related testing. Each of this will be covered in upcoming lectures. For the time being, just remember, second context is test level and test type. The third context is product and project risk. Let's take an example of two different products, automotive and avionic. By seeing the project, you will come to know which has more risk. Avionics product contain more risk than automotive. Therefore, the test process will be more regress for product with more risk. For the time being, just remember, third context is product and project risk. The fourth context is business domain, which is similar to last context, product and project risk. To understand this, let's see two different domain, software for supermarket billing and software for banking domain. Clearly, supermarket software will be more focused on load testing, whereas banking software will be tested more with respect to safety aspects. Fourth context is business domain. The fifth context is based on operational constraints. For an example, budget and resource means if assigned budget is less or sufficient to complete the project, time scale means whether you need to complete project in less time or you have sufficient time. Complexity means if the product selected is complex to implement. And last one is contractual and regulatory requirements. Sometime along with the customer requirement, we also need to fulfill industry-related requirement. Like for automotive safety, we need to fulfill ISO 26262 standards. Sixth context is organizational policies and practices. The type of development model used has impact on the test planning and test process. Similarly, the type of test strategy, test techniques, and tools used in an organization influence test process. Last context is required internal and external standards. As mentioned before, ISO 26262 is a safety standard for automotive industry. It's an external standard which organization has to follow if they are working on automotive industry and need to be included in the test process. ASPICE 
is another standard which is related to process. If some organization needs to compliance to ASPICE standard, they have to adopt their process in accordance with ASPICE. Now, let's quickly revise all the points we mentioned with respect to context. Software development lifecycle model and project methodologies being used. Test levels and test types being considered. Product and project risks. Business domain. Operational constraints, including but not limited to budgets and resources, time scales, complexity, contractual and regulatory requirements, organizational policies and practices, required internal and external standards.